There we go. There we go. Perfect. We actually just probably pull that out. There we go. So you can see a little bit better for chat. Uh, how's it going, Saki? All right, let's see. Heavy outer wall. Yep, that's where I want to be. Been a few, but let's see. How's it going? I am skillful. Uh, pull this up. Oh, all right, let's see how this goes. And how's it going, Rezo? Thinking about what? Someone does a Twitch plays of this game. Oh, that was bad. Okay. That was also bad. Okay, hold on. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna need you to do something that I can carry. Not really what I was had in mind. Well, I mean that was something. Must be called the stream lies of Python. <laughs> oh, called the best boss in the game. Now this is a really great boss. Oh, that was bad. That was also bad. Yep, I seem to have forgotten how to actually carry that. That's on me. You yeah, know, this is a really fun boss. I saw someone do this a while back and ha have wanted to do it ever since. So I can stream with a webcam. As I'm not really recording right now, but I don't. There we go. There we go. And now I'm I'm remembering how to do these this fight. Up oh, and she's gonna try to grab me. Alright, let's see how this goes. Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright, that's a parry. Alright. Okay, wait, why? Uh, she doesn't always do four. She very rarely does four attacks there. Really rarely. What in the world? Alright, well, this is not going to be the attempt. This is just really practice run. For me to really get my... To remember at least how to do it. Nah, Puppet King is the best one. Uh, why the king of puppets? Ow. I think her and Nameless Puppet are my two favorites. I mean... I liked uh, King of Puppets. Maybe it's just because I never truly got his second phase that I didn't enjoy him as much. But I mean, he's still a really fun boss. I guess the only boss I truly hate in this game is probably, um, Swamp Monster. Alright, there we go. I wanted that guard regain. Back. Alright, well, that could have been better. The White Woman. <laughs> what? All right, all right. She's tried to grab me four times. She succeeded multiple times. That's wrong. That was way too early. That was way too late. Oh my gosh. Also, how's the first time I knew this game? Was, um, a friend telling me watch uh, me fight the boss. Can God just God regret? Absolutely knew nothing more. Oh, about Elden Ring. Uh, I haven't beaten Elden Ring. I got past the Grafton, and that's uh, around as far as getting. Okay, that's all I know. I got to Renala and killed Renala. Wait, I'll be here till I get to school. How's it going? Uh, 
Hey, Gaia. Oh, white lady don't count humans as bosses. I mean, I don't really count. You don't count this as a boss? That's a really weird uh, requirement. Oh, wait, why did I do that? That was so early, I, I had like five seconds before she hit that. Oh, let's go. Okay, second phase. No, this game, I saw the boss that was supposedly becoming a god, and his moveset is almost like Godric's. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's uh, the that's one of the final bosses. His moveset is interesting, but he's so big, uh, I kind of had trouble um, kind of seeing what he was doing, if that makes sense. Oh, Simon. Normal humans, you can backstab. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. White Lady, um, the uh, Owl Doctor, they're not real bosses, to be fair. I guess also, same with the... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of that other human boss. Oh, early. My bad. Alright, well, that could have been better. But... Ooh, that really could have been better. Oh, you're too kind. Red Fox and Black Cat. Yeah, it's weird. I never fought them in my first playthrough. But, um... I ended up fighting Black Cat in this playthrough. I don't really know what I did wrong, though. Because I thought I was nice to him, but he attacked me. But yeah, no. In my first playthrough, I didn't fight them because I, I was helping them out throughout. And they never actually aggroed on me. Oh, let's go. Perfect timing. Never fight them. I like red. Yeah, I like them too. I don't know what I managed to do wrong though, where I had to fight a black cat. Oh, whoa. I didn't know she was doing this. That's bad for me. I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, but every single time I met them, I did give them a coin when they asked. So it is kind of weird. But yeah, I looked online and that's the only thing I could tell that apparently I did wrong. Let's switch that over to actually live chat real quick. That might not make a difference, but still. Got to lock in. Uh, this is a really hard challenge. As far as I can tell... Uh, why is my game crashing? Zero deaths. Oh, gosh. Did you guys see that? My game was actually just crashing for a second. That's weird. Yeah, so that's that's a first death. But, I mean, getting to second phase like that, first attempt of the day, not bad. I got her to half health uh, my last uh, uh, stream of this. And I got a lot of time this morning. That uh, was bad. Okay. Alright. Alright. Lock in on this. Uh, for some reason, I'm terrible at this one. Nope. There we go. Nope. Oh, God. Late. That's my average game experience. You get used to it. 
Yeah. You're gonna get... I mean, you're always going to get better. Um, you're never gonna be great. That could have been better, but um, that was actually pretty good. I've gotten pretty good at that, at least. There we go. Oh, that is just... I don't like the, uh... Uh, the kick. I never parried it because I never see it coming. <laughs> All right. I, uh, why am I so bad at that? There we go. As far as I can tell, only one other person has done this on YouTube that I've seen. I mean, that video got a lot of views. And when I do eventually be beat her, I'll probably post just the raw fight on YouTube. I don't know yet if I will will or not. Ooh, that was bad. In so many levels. Bad time to look at chat. Ow. Okay. Bad time to look turn my head. It does make this a glorified rhythm game, and honestly, I would say a lot of the bosses for Liza P is just a rhythm game. You know, that, that is what a lot of the bosses are in Liza P. Okay, no. I, I swear I parried that. I remember. Oh, she's got to be close, right? Like, surely she's almost in second phase. But it's, it's similar to, I would say, Sekiro in that way. Oh, there we go. Second phase. You sold me out like rhythm heaven, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do I watch this cutscene every time, or should I start skipping it? Ooh. Oh, Simon. Just the music transition though, it's so cool. I love it. Your sword, that Sasia, swears to protect okay. this tower. At least right now I'm just toying around because I want to start getting to a uh, second phase with almost all of my flasks. Nope, okay. I never can parry- I've only parried that, um, her slam attack after, like, once. Jeez. Oh, yeah, thank you. Simon sounds important, but can't care less. Uh, he's like one of the final bosses. Uh, if you don't make a- if you don't make a certain decision later in the la later part of the game, he is the final boss. Technically. Okay. I mean, she's being really nice to me for some reason. I think she 
being a little less nice to me now. Yep. The glitch thing where she like dashes. I don't understand the timing for that some some reason. Ow. Jeez, okay. I was yapping and did not really process what she was about to do there. Oh, I can strafe that. Weird. I can parry the first two and then strafe it. Alright, um, just chip damage and chip damage. I need her to do the big one, though. Because that's the real damage, pal. I don't even know why I went in to parry that. I could have just kind of walked away. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like this. I am way too close to her for this. I don't like this at all. Yep, okay. All right. Oh, now I'm going to sure you do the big attack again. Nope, never mind. Souls player discovers basic movement and positioning his strategical value. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, to be fair, I've never thought I never thought to strafe that attack because usually I thought it would track you, like the um, dash does. But I mean, clearly I was wrong. parries I wonder does it take I should just like start counting maybe to see how much parries it takes to get to phase two but I think uh, doing a red parry uh, doing a parry on a red attack does more destruction damage if I'm not mistaken but I could be wrong She knows she can always get me with this. All right. No. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm learning. I I'm relearning that attack. I feel like the move is, is tighter. Ooh. I, I knew if I had missed that parry, I was dead. Okay. Do I need the carrier's amulet? No, why why am I wearing the carrier's amulet? Hold on, I could have something else. Um Increase physical damage reduction. Increase damage inflicted on humans. I don't think that counts as her. Max lesion, max stamina, max HP. Probably max HP, honestly. Actually, weapon durability, that would be huge. There's a reason that's huge, because my weapon does... Um, oh, slightly heavy now. Ooh. 
Oh, that I see what's going on here. Okay. So yeah, that's slightly heavy. I would need um okay. That's why I'm wearing the carrier's amulet. That sucks. None of the amulets are actually um light enough for me to use it without being slightly heavy. Can you pause Liza P? Um, no, not like mid fight or anything. Like, this doesn't pause the game. It, it's like any Souls game. Fatty. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, she missed me. Why did she miss me there? I'm always scared of pairing that red attack. Because I don't really know the timing, I just guess every time. Oops. There we go. I feel like this facing was a little unfair for that attack. That was wrong. No, you don't. All right, I'm learning. God, why did I? Say anything. Take that. If I just barely missed the parry on the stab attack, it doesn't hit me. But if I try to just straight block it, I will get hit there, I believe. Oh, there we go. Second phase. That could be way worse. I'm gonna skip the cutscene though, this time. Yo. I wonder what the timing for that is. Oh, what? Oh, I missed the second one. Good RNG, good RNG. Tell me you're using a gun controller to play the fight. I can't. I'm, I'm not on... I'm on PC, unfortunately. Uh, that controller is for an Xbox 360. I could technically do it, but but the thing is, I don't have the buttons to parry in this game, so I couldn't do it with the gun controller. Oh, that's huge, that's huge. Oh wait, that's not the attack I thought it was.
There we go. I got the parry. Clank, clank, clank. Yeah. Ow. I really should be punishing that. Ooh. Not bad. Could be better. Just didn't try to parry that for some reason. Raises in two places at once. Well, I, I think this is dead, but getting her to half health every time is pretty nice. I do like I do think that's pretty good. Now if she would like do the lightning again, maybe. I mean, not the lightning I wanted, but I'll take it. Oh wait, I actually can outpace that by just kind of backing up. Alright, well. I was hoping I could wait for my uh, flask to regen there. Oops. Brain is in two places at once. I'm here and playing Kingdom Hearts, and I think that's the prob that's problematic. Yeah, it might be. Okay. I think I'm getting way better though. I'm wondering, do I have any um I think what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go see if I can use a bunch of these um poppable ergo and maybe level up so where I can so I, where I can wear another amulet that's not the carrier's amulet. Maybe the uh, health amulet. Actually, I know where the health amulet plus one is. So I could do that. Hmm. No, wait, that's right. Um... I'll just do that real quick. I've unfinished business with it. Don't have memory card for PS2. Oh. Hmm. Wait, no, not teleport. Um. Really? I'm missing, like, okay. I can hardly pay the mini breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built hmm. with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decide. Huh. First law, all puppets must 
I'll remember this in my first playthrough. I'm gonna listen to this dialogue, sorry. Ball Zero. The creator's name is... Geppetto. Giuseppe Geppetto. Hmm. Ah, did you hear that? The last part sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best Why does chance. it sound like an enemy call center scam? What or who was behind the frenzy? What or who was behind the frenzy? Really? Nothing. Huh. Ah, I've tried everything I can think of, but... I keep coming up empty. All I wanted was to stop anyone else getting hurt. How's it going, Sergio? At least hurt by murderous and why are we suddenly on Ace Combat? <laughs> and I can abolish all pain Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, do a side quest really ah, quick no, so I can get some uh, more ergo. Benigni. And Benigni always I think we can't put it off any longer. Geppetto is the last hope we have. We must save him, companion. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that was right. Okay, cool. I, I was scared I didn't get the liar. I didn't actually lie there, because I'm also trying to go for the golden lie. This playthrough. But, uh, let's see. Not usable items. Not, um. Bag. Where's an old shack? Oh wait, I need him to decipher these two vessels. I always well. Who? How long do you think it would take me to decipher it? Time me. <laughs> Echo, all done and huh. all yours. And that was fast. For a layman, it would have been a tough nut to crack, even for a replica. Child's play for me, of course. You could make a fortune by solving the code behind it all. Hmm. But why the Grand Covenant, I wonder? Do you know the name of uh, Vanini is similar to I became Benini? Lost in that actually how you pronounce that? Because I would not have uh, pronounced that as Benini. <laughs> it's interesting. I always welcome. Que bello! A brand new design. No, a whole new model. What a thrill. And there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. But the device bordered on genius itself. Required all <laughs> I'd call him. Ignacio? If you meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? Ignacio? No. Oh. Sorry, I'm sure you're or, busy. Or Inakio? Just what? <laughs> let me know if you ever find out. I've been chased. I'm infecting until we can live peace, just like I saved me from the workshop tower. Your real name is... Oh. Hmm. No, not equipment. Uh, useful. Wait. Bag. The train doesn't leave anymore. The merchant awaits frozen in the destroyed tower. Mechanical crypto advice. So. Alright, let me look at where to get where for the go for the mechanical cryptic vessel, because I know I think that's where I need to go. He was an actor in Pinocchio in a movie long ago. Oh really? No, the C is pronounced like an S. Inasso? Or Ignasso? Ignazio? 
Hmm. Let me just quickly look this up. Mechanical cricket vessel. Recipe. Abandoned apartment. Okay. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. All right. I'm not going to waste my time doing that then. Lies of P. So I want a certain amulet. Hold on. Ignacio? Like, I am fairly bad at pronouncing names. I'm sorry. Yeah, wait. Life amulet. Life Emil plus one. Whenever someone says it has a name and can't pronounce, I just give him a Spanish name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thanks for the fun morning. Gotta start uh, walking to school. Have a good stream. Yeah, have a great one. Um, hey, guy, thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah, stay safe. Oh, whoops, I went to the wrong one. You realize how quiet chat is without Austin? Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, he does. <laughs> I guess type a lot. Um. Where? Path of, yeah. I would be talking more, but I'm also like at the same time watching a video to find out where to go here. <laughs> I don't like rambling about a game I don't know. Yeah, that that too. Yeah, I figured there's a, uh, quite a few people who haven't um, played this game. I, I know a lot of you have played um, through all the Dark Souls games. So every time I play a Dark Souls game, you, you, you guys all can know what's going on. With this one, I, I suppose it's a little different. And I know two games, yeah.
Alright, I'm not actually sure this guy knows where to, where I'm get where to go, but gonna hope. He knows. Yeah, I play PS3 trilogy. I'm Dark Souls. Dark Dark Souls one and two, or Dark Souls zero one and two? What? <gasps> Dark Souls Zero, yeah, Demon Souls? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think that that could mean Demon Souls. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay, hold on. Alright, I know, I remember where to go now. I've done this once before. This guy's like a Patches kind of character. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Demon's Souls, uh, why is your the prototype? Yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, Demon's Souls was uh, the prototype for, I guess, the Dark Souls trilogy. Take it with you and hurry. Getting involved sounds like trouble to me. You can find this. Getting involved sounds like trouble. Oh yeah, it does sound like trouble to you, apparently. And just to humor him, I'm going to fall for the trap, even though I could walk around it. Yeah, this guy has like no self-awareness. Even at least he knows. Uh, at least Patches knows that he's a criminal. This guy acts like all righteous when he when you fall into the trap. The thing was, Armor Core Six came out, and now I'm outdated with it too. I never played any of the Armor Six, Armor Core games, so I have no idea um, what goes on with those. Am I able to kill this guy? I can't remember. Oh, he's just gone now. I should figure out what, what happens if you actually just avoid the trap. I bet he has, like, secret dialogue. There we go. Life amulet plus one is what I wanted. There we go. So that's going to do me a little bit better. What happens if I... Should I do the life amulet or there's a... I read they're the same weight. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. As long as you enjoy the game, it doesn't matter if it's a new way back or back in the 8-bit generation. It's neat, but if you don't like mech simulators, it's hard getting into. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I feel like Armor Core is a pretty far, um... I guess deviation is the right word from the uh, Souls games. I mean, it's still made by FromSoft, but still, it feels like a pretty far... Or it's a fairly different game, I guess. weird thing about this game is it plays a lot like Sekiro when you fight the bosses but you can play it just like you would like any other Souls game uh, outside of the bosses you don't really need to parry and stuff because dodging is perfectly viable it's just it's not very viable for most of the bosses was about to say parrying is also viable, but then I completely missed that parry. So, can't really say that. Right, where's the next, where's that lantern? Or should I just leave? Hmm. 
Thing is, I want to play the new game, but I can't because of personal struggles. Ah. Hmm. I have yet to even, like, consider doing, uh, or playing through the Armored Core games, because I feel like... I don't know, at least from my experience trying to watch someone who's like in the middle of an armor core playthrough, I never can understand what's going on. Nor do I really usually care to learn, I guess is the right word. Or right phrase, so I don't necessarily know if I would want to uh, stream my first playthrough of them. This is a really early game area. Back at it. Or, hmm, what if I did this? Worth a try if you ever want the, to test the games. Armored Core 3 is kind of the de facto best introduction to the franchise before 6. Hmm. I feel like a lot of people probably did start with 6. Similar to how a lot of people's first Souls game is uh, Elden Ring. What are you playing to stream Chilla's art games? Uh, when I get another Chilla's art game, I don't. Let me check though. I'll see if there are any on sale. I might have actually bought another one, but uh, and that would be a that would probably be like a one-time stream if I did another Chilla's art game, just because uh you can't save in Chilla's art games. Also, they're pretty short. Uh, the convenience store is by far, like, as far from what I've seen, is probably my favorite uh, Chill's art game. But if I, uh... Let me see where... What? What? Do I actually own any more Chill's art game? Let me quickly check. Convenience store... Doesn't look like I have any more. Let's see. Store page. Hmm. No, I don't. Um, but they're all like two dollar games, at least a lot of them are. So, I mean, it's not an expensive thing to do. For the price, is really insanely good. Uh, it is what it is. FromSoft now being multi-platform by default makes makes it easier to get more people in. Before you need the required console to play the game, PlayStation by default, yeah. Well, I mean, even then, though, Dark Souls 1 was um, on multi-platform, and so was... Uh You know, yeah, default was PlayStation because of, well, Demon Souls. But then, then the Dark Souls trilogy was all uh, multi-platform. Although, also, there is Bloodborne that's on PlayStation. Kind of interesting. I don't really understand. Well, I mean, FromSoft is separate from PlayStation or from Sony, but Sony seems to own the rights to a lot of their. Uh, at least, well, they own the rights to Demon Souls. Oh, 
How much does that give me? That's not that much. I was thinking they they would give more. Uh. Hmm. According to that dude, early 2010s, having stigmatized the games to being way too hard and scarring people, away, scaring people away, Elder Ring being presented as the most accessible one. I mean, in in a sense, it kind of is, just because of how open it is. But at the same time, that also, at least in my opinion, makes it less accessible in a way. If you plan on going in blind and not looking up anything, which is which is what I did and why I don't enjoy Elden Ring that much. If I'm being honest, uh, I still plan on buying the DLC, and I will be streaming it when I uh, when the DLC comes out. But still, still, it just never was um, something I really enjoyed. Imagine if Elden Ring is the last Souls game from FromSoft. Yeah, that's a scary thought. I mean, it's possible is the sad thing. But I don't think so. I mean... Actually, do we have confirmation that they're working on any other Souls games at the moment? I mean, Elden Ring is so massive, I can't imagine them making a second Elden Ring. Elden Ring 2. But I think, uh, I think uh, from what I hear, they're deviating away. They're not going to be doing trilogies or anything like that anymore. So their games are usually going to be a one, one and done. Like they're not going to have an Elden Ring two. They're definitely never going to make a Bloodborne two, unfortunately. I also did that. Don't worry, but I like exploring, so I enjoyed that like hell. I enjoyed it up into a point. Let's say ninety hours of of like very little progress and doing a uh, doing like useless dungeons, kind of definitely left a sour taste in my mouth and that's just purely because i don't have a ton of time uh yeah no 90 hours dungeons and he i constantly was fighting like intelligence based weapons and stuff and i was kind of sick of finding a giant sword and needing like 30 intelligence to use it because i was trying to go for a strength build dlc is pretty much elden ring 2 from what i understand it is it's so massive that it is almost a new game How much do I need? 15,000? Do I have 15,000? Or do I have like... There we go. All right, there we go. All right, back at it. That was a little deviation, but uh, let's keep going. Let's keep grinding.
I'd say we were lucky to have the privilege of living when the Soulsborne games were made. Definitely. Now they're so great. I couldn't even. And I never, I never, I wasn't necessarily playing Dark Souls 1 in like 2011. They don't, I only, I think beat Dark Souls 1, I'd say for the first time in early 2021. So I was really late for that. Um, and I originally didn't want to play it because of the stigmatized, uh, stigmatization of them being difficult. And I won't say it wasn't hard. Um, uh, Ornstein and Smo kicked my ass so hard and I was using a Black Knight Halberd, embarrassingly enough. Another boss that I did find a lot of difficult in was Gwen because I'd never I'd gone through the entire game without parrying and had to learn to parry with Gwen basically thought about like making a video showing like uh, my progression i didn't i obviously i didn't record my first dark souls playthrough but i have multiple like uh like while i was like fighting gwen i was talking to a bunch of friends on discord saying like how hard this is and that i'll never beat it and i can't even get a single parry off and then i at least um to finish my firebomb only run i had to parry gwen like 60 times in a row with the gun controller and throw a single firebomb at him every parry. So it was a long, gruesome fight of nothing but me parrying him. Oh. Missed that parry. I, did, I thought I'd done like, uh, like a slight montage of, of me killing uh, Gwen or with multiple different like stupid challenge runs. Like after I uh, finished some more challenge runs, I'd say. Or like also in the, I did it with in the soul level one with the gun controller, which means I couldn't actually do a repost. So I had to get a parry and then do an R2 attack. <clears throat> so at the same time I got into it because I learned how to jailbreak my PS3. Oh wow. Yeah, no, I can't really find uh Xbox um 360 games anywhere either. The place I can only only place I found Xbox 360 games in is that like a half price books, which is really funny. Because uh, GameStop doesn't sell uh, Xbox 360 games anymore, which is really sad. That and I, 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 I buy it from eBay if I really want a game for my Xbox 360. That was wrong. Damn. This is like a really bad attempt. I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed by this. Same here. I just played Dark Souls 1 last year. That's why I'm playing on buying a PS4 so I can get the hard copies of the Souls of Burn games. The only hard copies I even have, funny enough, are um, the Xbox 360 version. Because because uh, I'm mainly a PC gamer outside of uh, using my Xbox 360 at this point. And when I did play him for the first time, I did play him on Xbox One, but I uh, I have a digital Xbox One, so it's so I kind of played them all digitally. Still angry myself for not entering the DBZ tournament with a PS4 prize back in 2018. What's the what's that? So like ignore the gameplay at this point. We're we're just chatting. <laughs> this is not uh, uh, peak gameplay for me. Jeez. Okay.
Dragon Ball Z. Maybe? Huh. Nope. Oh, surely she's close to this one, right? Like, I know uh, this is a terrible attempt, but like, surely... Yeah, there we go. Okay. There was a Dragon Ball Z, um... Budokayo, uh... Tanaki, uh, three tournament in my city. Had a PS4 as the first place prize. Oh, I see. They were trying to watch you at the same time, man. Yeah. And I'm trying to chat and play the game at the same time. It's just a little hard, uh, with something like this. <laughs> It's a lot it's a lot easier to kind of keep a flowing conversation going when I'm playing like doing like a challenger like in Dark Souls 2 or something. It's a lot easier to do it then than uh than this. That's a lot of flasks. I got this. No way I just said I got this and then missed the first parry. <laughs> oh gosh, this is awful. What is she doing? Okay. Wait, why am I actually kind of parrying her pretty well? Like, I usually don't. Oh, that's a double tap. Okay. Amazing, yeah. So, oh, that's... So, I've got an amulet that, uh... Uh, gives me a small chance to not uh, use up a pulse cell when I heal. It, I, it just gave me like four extra pulse cells somehow. I don't even understand how that happened. Is it like when I'm actually getting a good attempt and I really need it to proc, it just never does, which is really funny. I didn't really think that's what she was doing. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think she usually starts with that attack. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Grab attack. Oh, I suck at this. Uh, I... Apparently I don't suck at it anymore, okay. Denied. Okay, that was pretty good. But yeah, Metal Gear is like the only saga I could totally complete because most of it is on PS3. 
Like the only one I've even played is Metal Gear um, Resident Evil Vengeance, but I know it's not even canon technically. Oh, she hasn't done that attack in a while. So how's the DS1 run going? Uh, you already have an idea of what run you'll do next. I don't. Um, I have a multiple different. Um... But yeah, no. Uh, unfortunately, for editing the Priscilla run, I haven't even gotten a script going. But I'm gonna start writing the script today. But my writing scripts takes actually um, just forever because what I do is I will. To like know exactly what I want to write for the script, I review the footage, so that means me watching every single one of the 26 hours of footage. I'll watch it at two times speed, but even then it takes forever, obviously. I was able to do, uh... Yeah, it took me about a week to write the Bone Wheel script, and that was only like 11 hours. And then, but after I have the script, I, I can pretty much edit it very fast. After I have the script uh, written and recorded. Also, I haven't actually finished the run because I didn't get myself trapped in the painted world. So I had to actually get myself trapped in the paint in the painted world. So I had to reload the save and go back for that. Um, as far as uh, my next run goes, I'm gonna. I'm going to probably, um, post, like, I have a whole list in a, like, a in, a, in my notes app on my phone. I have a huge list of challenge run ideas. So I'm going to, like, probably post that, uh, ask to, uh, people what which one they want to see, and then from what everyone says, I'll probably narrow it down and then post it as a member poll, I think. A member-only uh, poll. Ooh. That was bad. Pretty much everyone in the community agrees rising is totally possible, therefore canon, so don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I mean, I never beat uh, Revengeance anyway, though. The next round, I'm playing IRL Souls and hunting my viewers. <laughs> oh, man. But it'll, it'll likely be one of the dirt, another dirt. I don't actually know what run it'll be. I got some really... After I'm done with this, I'm going to read out all the um, challenge run ideas I have, though. After... By done, I mean after I die to this boss. <laughs> well, you know, I never really got revenge. Oh, that invalidates the run. You stupid... I, I have like pads on my under my controller. I accidentally pressed a button that that made me do my web Okay, why is she so bad at killing me? Okay, there we go Yeah, I got pads under my controller because I have like an Xbox Elite controller and I actually tapped one of them and it did the uh Like, I'm almost dead, and she is, like, refusing to kill me. Yeah, that was really bad. Yeah, hold on. Let me show you the challenge run ideas. I think I have a Google Doc. Let me pull that up. Ducks. Switched. Right. 
All right. Um. Yeah, it's not gonna... All right, yeah, so I have... Pull that over so I can actually still retry uh, chat. I still say you should do the uh, lower dragon run. I don't think I have that written down in here. Um, Let's see. Lower Dragon only, and finishing the run with uh, FMV of you eating a pick, eating a gecko. What? <laughs> with me eating your. I got. But you know, um, I likely don't won't do the item only run because I've done a firebomb only run. Uh, shield only is plausible if I did with the gun controller. A uh, pyro only, magic only. Those have been done to death. So probably won't do that. NPC summons, I have theorized as possible for Dark Souls 1, but I don't know if it really is the thing. Lower dragon legs are the legs. Yeah, I, I know I know what lower dragons are. But uh, X weapon class only, I mean that's being done by Gamers Weekend right now, but Uh, same as like being in the game using only equipment from each starting class. But I think he was allowing rings, so not doing rings would be interesting. Uh, play all Dark Souls 1 and 1 sitting with the gun controller. That's something I want to do at some point. I don't know what I'll do it. It won't. I might do that for like a. Um... I might just randomly decide to do that and say it's like a 500 sub special, even though I'm way past 500 subs now. Uh, Talk about Dark Souls 2 weapon arts only and. Dark Souls 2, all enemies are uh, spiked porcupines, which apparently is going to be hell. And also is probably kind of hard because there's not really a lot of Dark Souls 2 enemy randomizers. So I had to actually find out if that's even a possible thing for me to do. And honestly, we saw the um, we saw what happens when I change it all to the uh, bloated sorcerers. Those are really bad. That's a really bad run, but it is something I will do in the future. I definitely will be doing that run. Uh, same with the Silver Knight Archers. That is a run I guaranteed I'll do at some point. Uh, all Havel and Dark Souls 3 All Jailer would be actually really bad as well. I, I don't know if I pick like 10. If I pick like, um. Like, I would need to somehow narrow it down to like 5 options and then. Or like 10 options. And then, uh, put that in. As a poll, and then I could pick like the top four or something to make it as a member poll or top two or something. Is there an equipment randomizer thing for Dark Souls? Run of your equipment being randomized after each boss. There is. There's a, a little laggy did something like that where every single time, or like while he was playing the game, his equipment constantly was changing to something random. Like saying, like his weapon was changing, his uh, his armor was changing. Full of gaping dragons, huh? What would that look like, I wonder? Yeah, what would that look like?
Gaving Dragon is so huge. I mean, it would be interesting because Gaving Dragon is actually massive. I mean, he's bigger than Seath, I think. Which I know uh, Challenger Andy had trouble with Seath just because of all the how big he was. Worst thing I saw in that video and I totally forgot. You saw that video and you totally forgot. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Give me dragons. All crow demon would be kind of awful as well because I really hate that enemy. Imagine your stats randomly change every time you die. Hmm. That not be actually. That might not actually be all that awful. Because imagine you random. You have to have it randomized like at soul level thirty. Your stats are randomized. You can't be totally random because then there's chances you could be at soul level like ninety or something, or soul level like one hundred and fifty, and then you just won't die because you're you got so much, so much levels. I've thought about doing uh, for my maybe my first Bloodborne uh, challenge run a uh, whip only. <clears throat> and I could do that by just using the threaded cane, but no, um, but not ever transforming it from the uh, whip version. Because it has a notched whip transformation. Now doing it that way, that means I will not have access to a transform attacks, which is really strong. So that could be an issue. But, uh, hmm. Welcome back, Sergio. Yeah, we're not playing Lies at the moment. We're kind of discussing seeing what challenge runs we could do. Uh, it's a uh, list of every single challenge run idea I have written down so far. At least ones that I would um, consider doing. Um, I'm trying to think uh, what I should... Because I do want to post a poll of like like pick five or so. And then the top... Uh, like pick five of these. And then top two um, from that poll end up going um, as a member only poll or something. All butterfly um, wouldn't be very interesting, because um, with the randomizer, if I if I turn everything into a butterfly, the butterfly most of the time is passive, and just gets stuck in the floor. Unfortunately, new challenge, yeah, because I did beat the Priscilla run. I don't actually know if I want to do another challenge though before I uh, get the Priscilla run, uh, Priscilla video out. So I kind of want to maybe. <clears throat> always figure out what I'm gonna do but I probably won't end up starting another stream series until um, I beat um, un until I release the all Priscilla video owl father is so great that's a uh, Sekiro boss isn't it I think I know what boss you're talking about golden crystal golems hmm that'd be interesting golems I decided that would actually be really hard or not. Hmm. Do that. I know all black knights would be really bad. That I'm pretty certain for. Because I've tried that at one point and the, the asylum was so awful. <laughs> It was way worse than the Silver Knights. Everything Slave Giant. What's the uh, Slave Giant? Slave Giant. Uh, what game is that? Are you talking about the Chained Prisoner? Let's see. Where do I have that? Uh, from uh, the Dark Souls 1 DLC? Or are you talking about something else? DS1 Giants. Silver Knight Run was good. Yeah, Silver Knight Run was interesting. That was pretty fun. I did enjoy that. That will at least be on the poll, I think. Yeah, I've got... Uh, I know someone uh, asked about doing the Chain Prisoner. It might have been Austin. So I do have that written down. Same with, like, Havel. I will say Dark Souls 3 All Jailer Run. 
If that's the first Dark Souls 3 challenge run I do, I am so screwed. Because uh, the Jailer is that enemy that will reduce your health bar, not your health. So, uh... Yeah, that's pretty bad. But at least uh, Dark Souls 3 Jailer is, in my opinion, probably the worst uh, enemy in, in Dark Souls 3. And all big mushrooms, I mean, they hit really hard, so that would be a bit of trouble if there's a lot of them in one area. But I don't know what I could, uh, what I should um, narrow down to actually do as my next challenge run. Worst enemy in Dark Souls 3? Yeah, definitely. At least, yeah, at least definitely in my opinion it is the worst enemy in Dark Souls 3. wonder if I did all Dark Wraiths, it might not be that bad. Because that's, uh, it's probably, it would probably be a harder chance to do all Black Knights than all Dark Wraiths. But I'll have that written down still. And I'm wondering what other challenge runs I could do for Dark Souls 1 that isn't just turning everything into a certain enemy. Like, what other runs can I do? Because I really did enjoy the Firebomb run. Just because of the pathing and what I had to do to beat certain bosses. That's a more traditional uh, challenge run, I guess. Not that I mind uh, kind of piggybacking off of a, ch a challenger, Andy. I thought about doing Dark Souls 3 all Spell Catalyst run. If I can upgrade Spell Catalyst in Dark Souls 3, that might not be bad. If I can't, uh, I may have to scrap that run for later. But it would be fun to do another... Like, I you know for my one-year anniversary and for 100 sub subscribers, I did a 12-hour stream of uh, just kind of playing a bunch of different Xbox 360 games um, in, uh, with the gun controller. Use what you see run as a randomizer? Randomizer, of course. Okay. Y'all write that down. I don't know if I want to... Hmm. Oh, that would be interesting to do, actually. It would be pretty fun. Um, I don't know that I would do that. Um, just because, uh, like a lot of runs, it's been done to death. I know Lil Laggy's done it. I know a few other people have done it. Um, doing a Dark Souls 1. I do still want to do some sort of Dark Souls, run ram Dark Souls 1 randomizer. But I would probably put a twist on it, like. And I did do testing and stuff. So, if I change everything into a random boss, yes, my game crashes a bit. But I actually, um, but a lot of the the bosses can't actually damage each other. Unlike what happens with the uh, Priscilla run. So it does have the uh, potential to be worse. It does have the potential to be way worse. Hmm. Randomized fog walls. Hmm. I could combine those two. How bad would that be? Randomize fog walls and do a randomize and do every enemy is a, enemy is a random boss. Ooh, that would be that's just like pain personified. Holy shit, that would be awful. 
Um, random game crashing. Or, yeah. Yeah, no, my game would crash a lot. But... It's not that big of a deal. I mean, when I say crash a lot, I mean it would crash like once an hour or something. So it's not that bad. And I was doing that before I upgraded my RAM. Because that was when I had only like 16 gigs. Now I have uh, 32 gigs of RAM. So I think I should be better off now. But I think... Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to show this. I don't know what I'll do. Um, I may post a poll at some point uh, this week. Of like five or so of these runs. See what people want to see. Then probably um, then the winners of that I think I'll post as a member poll. But let's go back to uh, Lies of P. I think it's like aside from like uh like like I say uh, I count uh, the um, Dark Souls 2 spell chaos only run as like a more traditional challenge run. Same with um, the firebomb run in Dark Souls 1 I did. I want to do more of those, but the problem with those runs are a lot of people have done them. Sure, I could add twists by doing it with the gun controller, but that's not that's going to that's not going to be as interesting um, for as long I would say. Like eventually, that's not gonna. That's gonna become less interesting. Really, is not a great start. But... Okay. Okay. Oh, Dex, sorry. Could be worse. Yeah, it got worse. What? Oh, I didn't have time to actually get the carry off and heal there. I thought I did. I actually thought I was dead there. I guess I'm not. Take shot liquor every time you die to a boss fight. Not quite a drinking age yet. I mean, I will be in a few months, but not yet at least. Oh no. Don't really know if I ever want to do a drunk stream. That seems kind of dangerous. In a sense that I don't know what I'll say. Or every time you drink Estus, yeah. Oh gosh, every time you drink Estus. Jeez, that would be awful. Try to kill me. <laughs> oh. Don't get away from that. Hey, how's it going, CJ? Two. Three, there we go. Alright, I'm back. I'm not back. That was actually trash. Ooh, so sad. Tired stream will be a bunch of drunk people hanging out. <laughs> oh, not ideal to be in that. We were talking about challenge run ideas, and they said I should 
do a stream where I, every single time I drink an Estus in Dark Souls, I have to uh, <laughs> take a shot. This is how that uh, conversation started. Ow. Okay. We're not getting to phase two with this one. Never mind. I spoke too soon. This seems hard. It, it is really... It is not easy to do this. So, that that's phase two. I'll be honest. Um, when I'm staying... When I'm not kind of yapping the entire time I'm doing this fight and, like, looking back at chat, I can, I can get a pretty good phase one run and still have about eight flasks left. Oh, but, yeah, it is really hard. You can't win roll call reaches 1k subs, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I drank Dark Souls, yes, please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, take a sip of water a bit. Your sword, that swears to protect this tower. Alright, so this is how I actually have to kill this boss. There is like one attack that she does that allows me to um, damage her. It is this one right here. Ow. But yeah, 2,000 damage is what I get for that. Um, or play Dark Souls with a hangover. Oh, oh. I mean, I know I say I, I like painful challenges, but like, that's what you see, it seems unnecessarily cool. Oh, get away from that. <laughs> she missed me. Ow. Alright, out of flasks. I got this. What is she doing? Ow. I usually can carry that. Oh, that's, that's about right, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Ooh. All right. Should I start counting them to see how long it takes for a phase two? Oh, not this. I mean, I can parry this attack, but I, I still hate it. Never mind, I don't hate this attack anymore. I like it. Back and full of... Milanessa? What? Can you, like, attack me so I can get my guard regain back? Could've been better, could've been worse. Okay. Doing. 
Oh. Early again. She needs to chill. Like it. I just realized what I was doing wrong. I was holding the wrong weapon. So uh, this weapon, the weapon I had, uh, does not have as good of a um, destruction power when I pay get a parry off. So it takes more parries. That's why I was having so bad attacks. That and I was also just being bad. Any kind of meat. Breaded uh beet steak. Ha <laughs> it sounds yeah no. <laughs> there we go. I wish I could just skip like the very end of the cutscene and didn't have to watch the whole one. Because so I really do like the music that plays at the very end of that cutscene. Nope, oh, missed the there. Well, now that mess <laughs> is making me hungry. Oh. How can you bring her a second phase with only parries? Uh, if you get enough parries off, yeah, it does, um, it's the only boss that, I think it's the only boss in the game that does that, but yeah. With enough parries, it breaks her armor for some reason, which causes her to go to second phase. I don't really know why, but it does. Oh, I thought I could just, okay, hold on, wait a minute. I don't know where she is. If you want to see someone actually doing this run for real, you can look up uh, Lax AC with only parries. Someone did do this. Um, I don't know how long it took them, but they did uh, do this. Ow. Okay. Well, I didn't have enough time to heal and do that, I guess. Oh, that was good. Oh, I like that. All right, yep, that's that. That's our, that's our uh, opening. <clears throat> so the closest I've gotten her is about half health, because it is really not an easy uh, fight. I'm kind of hoping to kind of get some distance away from her, honestly. So I can, yep, heal up again. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, well. <clears throat> now we're watching you beat the boss before we're watching others do it. I mean, I, I will say, I don't think I even watched the full fight. 
But I did see him do. I, I skipped over and, and watched him do second phase. But it's a long guy. Uh, it's a, it is it is a bit of a long fight. I mean, I'll, I'll get it eventually. Can't promise it'll be on the stream. Definitely. Oh, a little bit bad timing on that dodge. Oh, this one again, huh? Wonder why. Nope, denied. Stop, don't do that. Are you in the middle of the guy? It's like right in the middle of the arena. Okay. Just listening while pounding people with the key. Oh no, don't do that again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I missed the last one. I don't usually. Oh well. Okay, doing that entire combo, like parrying that entire combo right there, not getting hit. Oh, no, that is the most sad. That's my favorite part of this fight when she does that attack because I know I can parry it. It is so satisfying when I pull it off, though. It 100% turns this game into a rhythm game. Missed two of them. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about this. Okay, never mind. I'm dead.
Okay. doing oh nope kind of stuck okay there we go She can do the stab again. Never mind. Wish she did the stab again. Dope. I ran in to get that parry because I knew I could get it. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I accidentally. Well, there goes a flask that I didn't need to heal with. That sucks. Oh, I could use it now. Alright, stab attack. Ain't it? Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see if I could parry her exploding into lightning if I can't. I think I missed two actually, because I should have done like almost three thousand damage. Oh, Perry nuke got it, yeah. Perry the nuke. I'm getting better at parrying her. 
I'm still not great at it, but in second phase I'm getting better. Yeah, she is holding that attack though, and I really don't like the uh Oh right, yep, this is it. I can't see because of this stupid wall. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I got stuck in like a corner of the pillar. That's the only part of the arena, basically, that could have happened to me, and it got me. That's actually pretty good. I think I missed one, but I still think that was pretty good. I was hoping she wouldn't do that, honestly. No, oh, wait. I walked too far. I, I needed to get to where I can actually see her. Okay. Yeah, that's almost exactly halfway. Almost exactly halfway there, and I had a lot of blenders. A lot of mess ups. Okay, bring out the premature GG. Oh god, gonna make me. Hey, you can do it, but it'll never be the case. I, I'm not gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in the hour I have left of before I have to get to work. Oh, that was so bad. Like unbelievably so. Yeah, you got her to half it. Yeah, I'm getting her half her to half health pretty consistently now, so I'm not mad about that, though. A little annoyed that I'm missing that, though, but I still got it in the end. Like, uh, to do this uh, challenge, I don't have to be perfect at the fight. It would really help if I'm perfect at the fight. But, I don't have to be perfect at it. What is she doing? Stab attack. Mm -hmm. 
too early. She sometimes follows up that um, stab with the two other stabs, and she sometimes doesn't. I wonder if it's spacing. Like, it depends on where I'm standing or where she's standing at the time. But she's doing it now. Up, oh, that's space two. Like, having seven plus, that's about an average attempt for me, I think, at this point. Way too early for all of those, um, but I parry that for some reason? Okay. Yeah, I need to get all of those parries in. Okay, what? No. Not this attack. I really hate the charge attack. Yeah, that was also pretty bad, honestly. I don't know why, what it is about. About the lightning attacks. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not great at parrying him for some reason. I guess I don't really have to move when she does that attack. I could just parry it. Lightning attacks is like my only form of damage, so I need to be really good at parrying them. At least the big one. Like what? Okay. Like that could have been 600 damage, I just didn't have it. There we go. Oh, way, way. That was way faster than you usually do. How the? Okay. Still have, uh, have room to get good, that's a good sign, yeah. Definitely have room to get good. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, I'm getting better at parrying her follow-up to that, though, which is good. Uh, I mean, I'm not getting better at uh, parrying the lightning for some reason, but... I'm, I'm constantly getting her to about half health. That seems to be where I'm capping off. But if I can get to where I'm not missing the lightning, that will be... Speaking of which, um, if I can not miss the lightning, I'll be getting a lot more damage in.
Why did she? Okay. I don't really know why that strafe uh, worked. Okay. Well, I expect that. Speak. <laughs> Now you gotta get good, yeah. I wonder if I should go back to doing what I was doing uh, on my first stream of this. And just killing first phase as fast as possible to uh, practice the uh, lightning parry. Maybe I'll do it after this attempt. Because I am feeling very confident about phase two. Phase one. Not perfect at phase one, but I'm pretty good at it, I'd say. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, couldn't really see what she was doing there. And weird, I don't think I've ever actually parried the kick attack. I just don't know when it's coming. She had like a poise meter like they have in Sekiro, like bosses have in Sekiro, would be, I would feel a lot better. But to me, this is like, I don't, I'm like trying to kill phase one without actually being able to know what their health bar is, it looks like. Like, next parry could put her into phase two, and I wouldn't know. Have any way of knowing. It didn't, but it could have. Yeah, having a poison meter like there is in Sekiro is tonight would be nice. Yeah, like, that was so bad.
Not ideal. Yeah, I can't see what she's doing when um, when I have that kind of positioning with that. Weird. She doesn't usually do that right after. Go! Oh. I don't think I've ever seen that attack. I don't know how I parried it. I'm just gonna do the charge. I know I can strafe that if I'm close to her. I know this is, uh. Yeah, bad attack. Okay. Your guts. There we go. I think I'm starting to know the timing for her a follow up. Missed that. Ooh. Badly missed it. I don't know where she is. And she missed, she didn't know where I was either, apparently. Because she missed. <laughs> okay. Come on, do what I want you to do. You know that's not what I want you to do. Come on. No, that's really not what I want you to do. Come on. Ow. Yeah, that's also not what I wanted. She knows what I wanted. She's just refusing to give it to me. Oh, not this attack. Thank you. Ah, I, I suck at this. But I can parry that. I don't know if I missed that parry or not. I think I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are trash. Stop it. like not be facing this area this way no 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 not this But that might have been slightly farther than I've ever gotten before, which is interesting. Shoot guts and suburb eye hand coordination, yeah. Council's deemed I'll be the one to wash the dishes, I'll be back. Alright. Let's uh, see you, Saki. Yeah, that was actually really good. 
I've been a little bit better at parrying. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna practice phase two. Didn't see that one coming for some reason. Phase two. All right, now we're gonna practice lightning. Obviously, if we get really far, I'm gonna just let myself die because it's not valid, but still, not a valid run. Oh, Simon. There we go. Nope. Missed that though. But still, I got all of the uh, lightning. Oh gosh, this goes way faster than the other ones for some reason. Clapping time. <laughs> I don't know about that one. All three of the charge attacks. I've never parried all three of those. I always get hit by at least one of them. In class. Oh my gosh, don't be watching me in class. <laughs> right now, this isn't a valid run. I'm just uh, practicing. So what I did is I I killed her as fast as I could with my actual weapon in uh, phase one. And now I'm just kind of in phase two. I'm, I'm obviously not going to kill her here, even if I get far. But something tells me I'm not going to get very far. But, uh, welcome back. Yes, 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 yes. Eh, close enough. Tick, tick, boom. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> also in glass. <laughs> oh, that was kind of bad, actually. 
Use the restroom and never return. Ooh. Thanks. I'm somehow doing worse than I usually do. Yeah, that's the only way I can damage her is to that lightning attack. Ouch. Ow. That also hurt. Come on. Ow. I, I didn't want you to do that attack. Teacher has caught both of us. <laughs> Our teacher says hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh man. Wait, wait, wait. Is this? Oh my gosh, I got that. That was actually perfect. And I healed in between. Oh, and this is as far as I've ever gotten. Obviously, um... You know. Let me just kind of get out of the way. Let's cook in DJ. Okay. That's fine. I'm not mad that I died there. Obviously, I don't want to. Let's do it looking expellable. Nah. No, they aren't. <laughs> but I think uh, that's what I'm going to do for a bit. Uh, 1220. And then I'll do a couple more attempts. Like we're both getting booted. Uh, good luck with the Laxasia. <laughs> Thank you so much for <laughs> stopping by again. Uh, uh, tick, tick, boom, and Hikaya. Our phones will be if we don't put them away. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, don't lose your phones. <laughs> oh, wait, why am I doing that? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Damn. Oh. Jeez, this is such an easy fight. It's actually kind of sad. It's actually kind of sad how easy of a fight it is after really perfecting phase one with the uh, parries. This looks so fun. Cool. I wish I were good at Souls games. I, you can... Trust me, I was so terrible at Souls games when I first started. Uh, and this is really just practice right now. But, um... No, I was really bad at Souls games when I started. I was dying to a lot of bosses. Yeah, Dark Souls 1 and everything. But... But yeah, no, definitely... You could, if you probably got uh, at least one of the Souls games, you could definitely get good at it and play it, I bet. They do have a... Um, they do have a reputation of being hard, and I will say Lies of P uh, lives up to that expectation more than most games do. But, uh, Dark Souls 1, at least in my opinion, it wasn't that bad. Once you got the hang of it. And it is my favorite game, and oh my gosh. I didn't watch my health bar there. 
I, I didn't watch my health bar at all. I just kind of let myself die. <laughs> Now, for Dark Souls 1, though, you do have to be a little careful. Um, not because of the difficulty, but you can get yourself trapped in places that make that you're not supposed to be. Like, you can definitely get in a, into a late-game area, like, very early on without really realizing it. Yeah, just don't wander into the Tomb of the Giants early, exactly. Or the Catacombs, for that matter. No, you're good. That was a practice run. It wasn't even a real run, so I'm, I don't really care. And I've been getting myself distracted more. It, <laughs> it, it's my uh, choice to um, look over on my second monitor rechat. It's not even... Not your fault. At all. Yeah. Oh, come on. There goes her shield, I guess. What? Alright, uh, second phase. Let's uh, our lock in at least um, get some good carries with the. Uh, I'm I'm less practicing the lightning, even though I need me practice with the lightning. As you just saw, because I missed the first lightning. And I'm, yeah, and the follow up, and trying to practice her actual attacks. Because if I could just get really good at her actual attacks, I don't have to really worry about uh, her um, about getting bad RNG with the lightning. I can just worry about um, just being a, uh, what would I say, an endurance fight, basically. Yeah, that was like really bad, though. So that one's way faster than the other ones for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, at least I got. I usually don't get that lightning carry for that specific one. Like I missed that one, so I shouldn't have missed that one. But I carried it way too early. Got that parry as well. This is about where I'm averaging. Is that about three flasks left, and she's a little less than over halfway dead. It's around 60%. Seems to be what's happening a lot. I don't really like that attack. Not that I can't parry it, but I just don't like it. 
Welcome back, Saki. Wait, what? I usually... Alright. I will not worship Manus. <laughs> Screw Manus. <laughs> Alright. I'll do one more of those. Now, like, but I'd say the hardest Souls I played yet was OG Demon Souls after that Dark Souls 2 after DS1. Not counting Elder Ring because I played that handicapped. Hmm. I, I played OG Demon Souls and didn't find it the most difficult. I will say the r boss runbacks were awful, but I don't think I ever spent much more than one or two attempts on the boss. Except for the final boss of Demon Souls. The final boss was more than one attempt, definitely. Play Minecraft while watching your stream. Nice. Now, I need to, like, start playing Minecraft again. Uh, since, like, I've really, uh... I'll be honest, since I started playing Souls games, I kind of fell out and stopped playing a ton of Minecraft. At least definitely don't play it as often as I used to. I guess for context, even, like, uh, on... Not counting, like, on um, my time playing it on Console Edition or Xbox 360... I've got a little over five, uh, no, 3,000 and 3,500 hours on Minecraft. What am I doing? I just realized that's my normal weapon. Okay, my rate, including uh, one New Game Plus cycle in case. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never did uh, a New Game Plus cycle in Demon Souls. I, I, it was a one and done. I beat it once. From a viewer's perspective, it seems like a manageable fight, but if I played this myself, panic roll so hard, yeah. Definitely. Uh, with Liza P, you have to train yourself to a uh, face tank. Not face tank, but you have to face the boss. You can't really panic roll often, because rolling definitely isn't that great in this game. It's similar to Bloodborne, but I would say a little... Yeah, it's similar to Bloodborne, but a lot of bosses make sure that you can't really roll through them. For the most part. Like if you play this like you would play a demons like you would play Dark Souls One, you would be so screwed. Block that. I thought I had a little bit more time to parry that so I could get an attack in, but I did not. Anyway. Second phase. That's not second phase. Hold on. Okay, now it's second phase. Yeah, I see the distance is very short, yeah. Yeah, it's really short. Mm -hmm. Also, also uh, parrying does, I, I guess, what's called destruction damage. Which you saw when her, her, uh, uh, her health bar flashes white, then if you do a charge R2 while she has, while that's happening, you can get a critical, basically. This is like a visceral in Bloodborne. Ow, why did I heal during that? I should have been ready to parry that. Oh, 
Why did I do that? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, man. Uh... The timing is weird. I don't like her holding the attacks on phase two because I feel like it's worse than phase one for like the delays. Maybe not. Maybe it's not. Uh, none of this is really mechanic spoilers. It's stuff that you basically have to learn like at the first before the first boss. Like, the first boss completely destroyed me, um, until I started parrying him. Then he wasn't that bad. Missed that? Okay. Why can't she hit me if I just back away? That's a really weird thing. I think that's like her only attack where that's the case too. She didn't know what she was either. Oh, I hate this attack. That's fine. At least I think I can figure out how to parry it though. I think I'm getting par parrying things. I say that and then miss a um, very easy parry. So little window to punish her, yeah, there's really very little. I mean, I could destroy her if I was trying to fight this boss normally, but uh, yeah, there isn't really a normal. This is not a definitely not a normal fight. Let's go back to... Uh... Let's go back to this. I think I have this optimized. Like, that has the best... Um, resistance... This... Oh, that actually looks like it's a little bit better. Slightly heavy. I was scared of that. Um, big wrench, yeah. Um,
I'm going to uh, quickly kill some enemies for for a level up because I I don't want to be uh, slightly heavy. But I put on something that should give me better shock and, and like slash resi resistance or better damage resistance in general. Um, let's see what can I do. So I need to level up my I need to level up though my carry weights once or twice. Look, I think there's a lot of enemies here I can easily kill. I don't know how fast I can do it though. Oh yeah? How's your gun feel, huh? I like that I could just parry um, bullets even. It's really funny. Embrace the fat ass. No. No, I need to have a uh, low carry weight, unfortunately. And I don't want to swap out my amulets. I gotta go. You have a good run. Have it fun. <laughs> have fun, chairs. Yeah, thanks so much, uh, Sky. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out. Okay. Right, let's see here. So this isn't giving me much. Um, maybe I should go find something else. Yeah, that's not giving me much. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try something else. Let me go to uh, a different stargazer. I think I know somewhere else I can get better, better uh, air go from, or bigger air go from. I think there's a big enemy somewhere that respawns. It's right here. There we go. Felt your entire you just felt your entire spine crackle. Wait, what? Here should be something huge. Or something big. Oh, with your back? Can you crack your fingers? Yeah. Did that just hand happen randomly, or you act you actively try to crack your back? Or pop your back. This isn't where I thought I was. I thought I was somewhere else. I do when I wake up, but sometimes it comes out of nowhere. Oh, I see.
Oh, the elevator is broken. Or of course. Hmm. Like I'm somewhere in the wrong spot, but I don't know how to get to the right spot. Let's see something. Teleport. Here we go. Yeah, that's where I wanted to be. Because right here is an enemy. That guy, I think that gives me like a thousand or something. So I only really have to. I'll do that cycle. I'll run and kill that big guy, kill those three enemies, and then should take me a few minutes. And then I'll end off by doing another couple attempt or another attempt at her at, at Lexasia. I could actually sell some stuff. I didn't really think about it, but I think I can sell items in this game. It's only 165 for that enemy. It's not really great.
thousand. I think. I only need to kill him a few more times, I think. Maybe. And it might be 15,000 to level up. I'll just keep doing it then. This is the only. This is the enemy I know for a fact that respawns they drops that much. There might be more. There might be a better place to farm, but I just don't know. Know it. sometimes drops a half moon. That's actually really good. That's, like, that's a pretty far ahead up um, upgrade material. Interesting. Doing that three more times. Should give me enough. Yeah, it's giving me close to 2,000, I think. A little under, like 1,500 each time. So, two more. Maybe three more, just to be safe.
There we go. Yeah, now I'll do it two more times to be saved. 16,000 should be enough. Oh, that's just the statue. I was like, what is that? like one more level up that sucks all right yeah, I probably won't be attempting the boss again today I'll just keep farming Jimmy the cricket in, the, in this game yeah he is um, let me see spell different it is spelled uh, like GEM or but Gemini but yeah he is hold on Uh, I can't actually show you because I can't actually talk to him because I've gotten through most of the story and stuff. But yeah, he is in the game. Thousand. I need another uh, almost eighteen thousand. <laughs> it's Jimmy. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. It's kind of interesting because I did get to a uh, second. I I did get her halfway. Uh, I did get Laxasia and like Laxasia like halfway. Um, through phase two. My first time I streamed this, streamed this attempt like last week. But, uh, never. But I haven't technically gotten her much further, uh, today. Now, I've gotten more consistent with it, obviously, but I didn't get her much further. I need almost 16,000, okay.
Uh, wait, what am I doing? I locked onto the wrong enemy. There we go. It's like four or five charged R2s can get a critical, and I can finish it off with another R2. One more of this. There we go. I did this three, two more times. I then do one last attempt of Laxazia. Well, I'm pronouncing it like two different ways: Laxazia and Laxazia. I don't know which one's right though. Actually, I think it is uh, Laxazia because I think that's what she says. But I might be wrong too. Enemy can grab you. They don't do a lot of damage, but they still grab you, huh? Low battery, gotta go. Alright, have a good one, Saki. Thanks so much for hanging out.
that you why Did I just... Oops. Oh, that's fine. I... Yeah, I definitely did not mean to do that. Alright. That's fine, because I can pick up my ergo outside the fog wall anyway, but, um... One last attempt. One last real attempt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Gonna turn your stream into a podcast and just listen you playing for now. Pretty short podcast because I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the last attempt. But, <laughs> thing, but yeah, ne I did post uh, my schedule. But next uh, Thursday, same time, uh, it's gonna be Dark Souls too. Not really happy about this attempt, honestly. But sure. Oh, gosh. Ooh, I'm really not happy about this attempt, but that's nothing I can do. I did say it was the last attempt. Late as possible. Oh, wait, that's the ground attack. Ooh. That's something I can parry almost everything in, so I'm happy about that attack. Come on, a second now. Nope. I tried to check the time. Up oh, there we go, second phase. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. Yeah, you got this. Thank you. Uh. I'll watch this cutscene, why not? Ooh. Oh, Simon.
Oh wait, what am I doing? Why did I do that? I didn't see that one coming. But I can carry that. Oops. Really need to be it needs to be almost like nothing for me to parry the lightning. Kinda like that. But I was actually really lucky. Good opportunity to heal. Okay, I'm happy about that one. Uh, block that didn't carry it. I don't know where I am. All right, let's how about we get ourselves in the middle of the arena, please? If that's okay with you, it better be okay with her. She's gonna do a charge attack at some point. Wait, 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 hold on. There we go. I mean, good thing she did it twice, but seriously, shouldn't have missed that. That was bad. Wasn't ready for that one. Don't know how I buried it. How's it going, Taco? Oh, I missed the parry. What is wrong with me? She holds that in so long. I don't understand. Come on, wait, wait, wait. I'm past the, uh, the. All right, wait, that was, that was actually pretty good. 
I don't think this is the attempt, but um, this is pretty good. Please, please, please. I thought maybe. Oh. Oh, that was. Man, alright. Well, this is gonna take a miracle to pull this off. That was the farthest I've ever gotten. It might. This might be done next week. I don't know. But I'm pretty proud of that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright, uh, Renee gets going. Uh. Yeah, yeah that, that was the last attempt. Last attempt apparently is always going to be the best. That's awesome. Um, but, uh, Saki, uh, Sergio, Rezo, um, Blue Taco, um, Skybe, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. I'll be streaming Dark Souls 2, um, same time on Thursday. So, uh, have a great day, everyone.